well, I've been trying to figure out when I would be ready to do this reflection, I guess. Um, and I've come to the conclusion that as adorable as my dogs are and as distracting as they are, um, I will never be ready to actually do this because it doesn't have an ending. So I'm in this process right now and it has no end. So it makes it feel like there's not a right time. It makes it feel like um, there's really like a not a right moment to pick up the blog again. So I'm just gonna pick it up here. Uh, vlog, why do I keep saying blog instead of vlog? It's really annoying. Okay, um, so toe number two. <laughs> um, this time we didn't wait around to decide to do it. We just did it right away. So yesterday, um, after sitting in the parking lot all day, I went to a coffee shop in the morning because I had to do some work and get some work done. So I did that while we were waiting for the tow and I could sit in the air conditioning. Then I went back to the RV, we got towed to where we are now, which is an, an um, inexpensive extended stay type place. So I'll give you a little quick tour of it. I don't even have to get up to do that for you. Here we go. Here is where the table I'm sitting at, where I'm feeding the cats <laughs> and the dogs over. That's our little kitchenette and our door. That door right there is the bathroom. And I just took a shower, all right, behind me, is this very broken chair it's dilapidated and there are the dogs right and that's the room there's the tv and we are back at the table like that's it that's that's where where we're at right now as a team all of the cats are in here the turtle is in here the snakes are in the car the dogs are all in here there's one bed and we all slept here last night it's been an adventure here it has been. Um, the people here are not kind <laughs> that are staying here as well. Um, and we've already been tattled on for our animals. And we've already been stared at for our tattoos. And we've already been, I don't know, talked about and gossiped about. Needless to say, none of us are comfortable here. It was fantastic that we found it. It was where we needed to get to to get close to a mechanic and get the RV towed to a mechanic, which is where the RV is now. So we have our car and the RV is over at the mechanic. Antonio is gonna head over there this morning, grab some things we left there. Um, and then what we did for ourselves is we decided to spend a significant amount of money uh, on an Airbnb for our family. Um, there aren't a lot of choices in this part of Colorado, but we found a lovely one. We um, aren't able to share that we have cats with many people, let alone that we have reptiles, but we were able to say we have four dogs and the owner is okay with that. Um, and um, we made a reservation. So we will be moving at some point tonight, this afternoon, evening, um, into our Airbnb for the next however many days it's gonna take to um, get this RV fixed. Well, I am proud to report that we made it to the Airbnb. Um, I look like poo because I feel like poo. It's a billion degrees in Colorado. Um, and the noise you hear in the background is the air conditioner to this place. Um, it is unreasonably hot here, and this is like super unusual for here, um, for it to be hot and humid at the same time. So I'm trying to do things early in the day and then hide out during the most of the heat um, and then enjoy the outside in the evening. But I come to you from our, our Airbnb, having successfully moved the family here, um, and despite it being having less air conditioning, everything else about <laughs> being here is worth every penny we are paying. And this was an unexpected expense for us. Um, we sort of postulated that there might be at some point in the RV living something mechanical that we'd have to deal with with the RV, but we did not anticipate needing to stop for um, five to seven days still in Colorado, though we've made it to Fort Collins. We are almost <laughs> at the Colorado border in the north, um, but um, we sort of did not anticipate having to spend a week in an Airbnb, which is um, worth it for our whole, our, our whole family, <laughs> um, but um, is uh, an expense we didn't expect. Well, we survived, or I survived, no, we survived. Antonio and I made our way to, um, oh, look at how special I look, you guys. Is that not? That's special. Okay, so we went to PetSmart, Target, and we went and grabbed some like late breakfast. 
Um, I just had the best breakfast burrito I've ever had in my life at this place. It was so good. It was just all the right things for me and textures and all of that. And I'm not a breakfast burrito fan and bre or a breakfast fan period actually. But anyway, it was delicious. And as you can see behind me, we're about to sit down, watch some TV, probably eat some lunch, um, and just chill out with the dogs while the mother nature is out there being brutal. Um, and then um, after that, I think we'll have probably treat ourselves to a, a, maybe a semi-nice dinner out somewhere to get out of the house and, and give ourselves some space to just be and breathe for a little bit. Um, Self-care, in other words. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you guys, try to find some light. There we go. All right, so I am standing in the kitchen of the Airbnb and you know, while this whole situation is going on with the RV, of course, the house is being looked at, our house is being looked at up on the mountain. And at the same time, we are starting to move into the phase where we can begin to look at houses ourselves. And so when we started out this journey, just talking amongst ourselves, Antonio and I, um, we were like, well, we really, there were things about Colorado that we love that we wanted to replicate and things not so much, right? Um, really important to me that we upgrade in terms of property and space. Um, so that's really my goal. I don't need a big house. I don't want a lot of stuff. And so we're looking for a small house with big property. Um, we settled on New England and then eventually narrowed ourselves down to Vermont and Maine. Um, Maine is now our first choice and um, we are connected with a Maine Realty Broker. Um, and we are going to actually be, as you can see right behind me over here, as our, my computer is all set up, um, we are just about to do um, our very first um, showing with our new realtor. So we're going to meet her. We've met her on the phone. We're going to meet her um, on Zoom. And she is going to be at the first house we are going to look at. Exciting. All right. I'm outside. Can you believe it, guys? I am so excited to be outside and right this moment. Um, it's still a bazillion thousand degrees here, um, and I cannot get comfortable for kisses, kisses, mommy. The dogs are out here with us, of course, and we just finished eating like a late lunch because um, we had looked at that house. Well, we saw the house. We're saying goodbye to the house, not our house. And so we have found <coughs> another house that we'd like to look at virtually, uh, and we will be doing that tomorrow morning. Good morning. So it's the next morning, we had a lovely evening and relaxed and slept and all of those lovely things. Um, and we are a few minutes from our next um, house that we're gonna be looking at, which I'm really excited about. So again, we're doing it virtually. We'll be meeting with our broker on Zoom. Um, and then when we're done with that, we are going to brunch. Um, and then, here's this crazy thing. Um, I was just sitting out here last night, answering some emails, thinking about some things. And I realized that tomorrow is our wedding anniversary. <laughs> As you can see, we are not one for making a big deal out of important dates, things like that. But it has been a hot bit since we've been able to really do anything um, fun for any or anything celebratory for a birthday or things like that. So um, I think we are going to try to find something mm. fun to do. Um, and a little bit out of our norm for tomorrow um, and hopefully that'll be a good time but in the meantime i'm really excited to take a look at this house um, and excited to see what's in store for us in maine so we have just looked at house number two yep. how are you feeling about all of it i know it makes you anxious it makes me anxious yeah. they're anxious i don't know i don't know how to feel yet I liked house number two better, I think, than house one. All right, so we're agreed on that, house number. And I see potential in house number two, whereas house number one, I didn't see any potential. Yeah. So I think we're going to investigate a little bit further with this one. So I'm sitting out here in the living room with the Papa Lapas, and they are. Papa is waiting outside um, to get us some dinner that is being delivered. We're having Thai food. Um, anyway, so we're waiting for dinner. And we will hear back, we're supposed to um, hear back from the sellers one way or another um, to, by tomorrow at 6 p.m. And tomorrow is also our anniversary. We've decided to do some really fun things for our anniversary and do stuff that um, we find to be fun. So one of the things that we enjoy doing the most, both of us, we really both love 
um, a really good pub atmosphere and a really good like pub food um, where it's casual and fun and people are laughing and nobody feels like they're um, using the wrong fork. That's how I want to say it. And uh, we're going to do that. And then here's the crazy wackadoodle thing we decided to do, like totally for fun, has no other value other than entertainment purposes. We're gonna go do an escape room. So we are gonna go do that for our anniversary tomorrow. That's all gonna be tomorrow night. And so it's gonna be cool to do this together. It'll be neat. I hope we're still talking when we finish. <laughs> okay, sorry. Lay down vlog is happening right now. Oh, I look really unattractive laying this way, but I really don't give a shit right now. It's real raw. This is it, real raw. Anyway. Before I move on for the day and all of that, I have to address our anniversary <laughs> because it's so ridiculous, you guys. Um, so, <sighs> autism happened for our anniversary. That's what happened. We had picked out this place and we decided to do the escape room and all of this stuff, right? Okay, well, we go to go do that and we get to the place where, you know, we're all showered and everything and ready to eat and starving and all that shit. And we go get to the place where we were planning on eating and um, it was empty. And I know it was a Monday and I know that, I get that, but it was weird that it was empty, right? Weird because everybody else was really busy. So we found one of the busier places um, where everybody looked to be pretty happy with their food and um, decided to eat there instead. Well, I'm glad we did because it ended up being really a delicious meal and I don't know that the other place would have been as good. So after we finished eating, our plan was to um, take our leftovers, walk them to the car and then stop for some ice cream and then go to the escape room. Well, ice cream hunt was a fail. It's the first time in my 46 years on this planet that I have ever had bad ice cream, but we had bad ice cream. And then by the time, because we had to do so much walking and I had to stop so much because it was just feeling, you know, myself. And so by the time we got back to the car, I already had a floater beginning for a migraine and was hot and sweaty and tired. We really were gonna be just late for this escape room. So I just said, F it. He said, F it. We just decided to come back and sit outside in the back um, here and just, you know, chill out, watch some things on our phones or whatever and hang out with our dogs. It, it's nice to see that piece of harmony in our relationship and the way that we function. And I still, here we are four years later, married together, almost seven. Um, and I still like him and he still likes me and we still like hanging out together. That means I can imagine myself, you know, at 80, do it, being able to do even less than I can do now um, and um, be really being with this person and feeling cared for and loved and nurtured and all of those things. So let's talk about now the house situation. Our offer is in and so by next weekend we'll know, by the end of the weekend coming, <laughs> it's so bad, the end of the weekend coming we'll know if we, they're accepting our offer or not. And so with that, I say, um, everything is sort of in the universe's hands and what's not is my nap. And so I'm gonna go take my nap. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna take care of me because I, I don't know if, like I'm in the story of my life, I am the main player. I am the main character, right? And if that doesn't happen, if I, I'm not the main character I'm supposed to be in my life. Everything else falls apart. It's everybody's individual job to be the main character in their life. How cute, how can I not film in front of that? Well, we are at the place that is working on the RV. We heard about the update on Juniper Lightning Bug, our RV, and um, it was an electrical problem. So they are working on that today. Hopefully it'll be done in the next few days. Um, they're figuring out exactly what part it is that they need to replace and all of that stuff. Um, and then we will be back on the road. Um, so come Thursday, we'll sort of be done with the Airbnb. Both vehicles will be back in shape um, and we should be back on the road, um, which is exciting. 